Good day folks. Welcome back to another tying video. I'm going to tie up a straggle legged damsel for you. Um, this is a super effective pattern and a uh, fairly simple tie as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. I've got a size 14 curved nymph hook in the vise and I'm tying with olive 70 denier tying thread. So I'm just going to get my thread started right at the hook eye here and we'll prep some mono eyes. This is, uh, I believe, about 30 pound mono. And I'm just going to gently touch that flame to each side. So they're fairly even. And that'll form a couple little eyeballs for us. Just let that cool down a wee bit. <clears throat> and doesn't take very long. We'll get it tied in here. So I'm going to leave myself about a hook eyes gap uh, behind or back from the hook eye there. Just want to make sure they're. Nice and centered. That looks pretty good there. So then we can just figure eight wrap those in. <clears throat> and just do some gathering wraps underneath and if you want to throw a little bit of uh, super glue or zap a gap uh, right on the thread wraps there but <clears throat> now I'll grab uh, just a little marabou here I'm gonna take about a half inch or an inch worth of marabou off that stem and we'll start it right in behind the eyes. Now I'll try to keep it nice and tight going back because this is a going to be a thread body. There's a little marabou poking up as you can manage. So we'll just keep that nice and tight to the back there. A couple wraps underneath. Just like so, come in and just pinch that tail off. And now I've got some small gold wire. And uh, just to keep my body slim, I'm going to uh, just tie the wire in right at the back here and leave enough of a tag to take me right up the body. Just so our body stays nice and even. I'll just flip this over here real quick and <clears throat> show you kind of what that looks like there. <clears throat> Go right up to the eyes. Now I'm going to spin my thread and flatten it out. can make sure to smooth this body and cover up anything that's showing. Get to the back, I'll do the same thing. Just want a nice, smooth, even body. Can work a little bit more of a taper but that marabou kind of helps with that so that looks pretty good there so now i'll just take this wire and i'm just going to counter wrap it up the body to give us our segmentation 
just like so. And then we can tie off the wire just in behind the eyes. Come in here, give that a wiggle, snap it off. I'll wrap back just to that last rib there. And got a piece of olive scud back. <clears throat> Just gonna tie that in right on top. Fold it forward, make sure it's nice and centered. That looks pretty good. Just like so. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of some this is a UV straggle. I'm going to tie this in just in behind the eyes here as well. Bring my thread in front and just leave it hanging there. So I'm going to take just a few wraps here with the straggle. Probably get two or three in behind the eyes. And then come over top with one back over the other way and just come up underneath and you'll be able to tie off just like that. Couple wraps to tie it off, trim out the excess and just because I'm pulling this scud back back over top Give her a little bit of a haircut up here. That looks pretty good, I think. Just like so. Now I can grab my scud back and pull that over and get it tied off. A few wraps on top couple in front and then before I trim it I'm just going to throw a quick two turns of a whip finish in there just I like to do that with any stretchy material now you can come in give it a good tug trim it off and most of it'll kind of suck back up in there so if you've got any stragglies left here you can Trim them out <clears throat> before you uh, just clean up the head. So I'll give this a few more wraps. That looks pretty good. Come in with a whip finisher. Finish it off nice and clean. Pull it tight. Trim out the thread, and then I do like to just take a dubbing brush to that straggle, just if there's any trapped fibers in there, that'll help uh, pull them out. And that's about all there is to it. So again, you can throw some super glue on your thread wraps there, and uh, Sometimes I'll uh, darken the eyes up a little bit with a Sharpie, you can do that. But nice uh, flowy, wiggly marabou tail, really nice segmentation with that thread on and uh, wire. And then the legs kind of all over the place and that straggles a bit of a fish magnet. So incorporating it into patterns has been uh, pretty successful for us. So that's all there is to it. Simple, but uh, fairly realistic and definitely a fish catcher. So I hope you enjoyed that one. That's the Straggle Leg Damsel. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, until the next one, cheers and tight lines.